What's up everyone? In today's video, we're going to be designing a vintage style t-shirt for his royal airness, the GOAT, Michael Jordan. Let's go. What's up everyone? So first and foremost, I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers that are here. Thank you to everyone who's been subscribed. Uh, it means so much that you guys are watching these videos, so thank you. Uh, so today, we are going to design a vintage style t-shirt for Michael Jordan. Um, like many of you guys, I'm watching The Last Dance, the Chicago Bulls uh, documentary. It is insane. I don't want to say too much or spoil anything, but if you haven't seen it already, watch that shit because it is crazy. So, I think we can jump right into this. Uh, let's get into my computer. So, I'm looking at uh, vintage Michael Jordan shirts just in general, right? Trying to get some inspiration going. Um, I really like this style. Um, I actually saw a couple shirts on here that I used to have, which is dope. Um, but we're just gonna go through here, sort of get some general inspiration see if there's like a particular style we want to do. Um, let's see, I'll keep going here. Um, this could be cool. That's like illustrated, I don't want to do anything like that. That's a jersey. Uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I have like a style that I'm, I really have in mind, I think like, it's like, sort of like, man, maybe I should just do something like this. Yeah. I'm thinking something like this. Oh, could not, that's cool. That'll happen sometimes. All right. Open, I'll just take a screenshot. You can't stop me. All right, bring that over. All right, so we've got our inspiration going here. Um, let's just get a new document going, file new. I always do 15 by 25 at 300 resolution. So we've got our canvas going. Death blood. When the fuck was I using that? All right. So the next thing we're going to do is I just went to Google. I put in Michael Jordan PNG, um, searching by large. Normally, you know, if this was for a client or if this was for, you know, I don't know, whatever, probably, you know, even personal stuff, I would normally just go. Um, on Google and search for general images and find like something super unique. Um, honestly, when it comes to Michael Jordan, I'm probably not going to find a ton of unique images. So um, I think going this route is fine. So let's find something good that we can use here. We'll probably, you know, end up using a, at least two or three images, but what do we got? This is pretty good. And it looks pretty big. If you, um, Look at the bottom left hand corner as you're scrolling through these, it'll show the size. So obviously you want to find something that's as big as possible. Um, the chances are pretty slim that you're going to find something like how, why am I cutting that out so weird? All right. So first <laughs> we're going to get rid of whatever that thing is. Um, I'm going to hit command A to grab the whole thing. Command C, go over into our canvas. Command V is going to paste that in there. And we're basically just going to start like collaging this out to to um, get a general like layout going. So I'm thinking, you know, we have like a smaller image of Jordan here. Let's look at our um, inspiration here. Let's just bring this into Photoshop so we can keep sort of the vibe going. Uh, Command C, I'm just going to grab this. Command V, paste it over. This will also kind of give you um, an idea of like general sizing. So like, you know, right now I've got this at, uh, let's see, what's it at, inches? It's at, yeah, like 12, 12 and a quarter wide. So it sort of gives you an idea of like how big your text should be like on your canvas also. So it's kind of a nice um, way to do that. So I kind of like the idea of having a big, image of him on here, like his face. So I bet we could just throw that in the background. Let's just search Michael Jordan face, not Jordan, Michael Jordan face. Uh, that's kind of weird. We're going to try to get something that's like from the nineties, you know, cause this is clearly 
like from the early 90s. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> Uh, that's not bad, but it's kind of weird. I don't, I don't want like a portrait. I want a picture like this, where he's like fucking spazzing out on, you know, Bill Wennington or something. Let's see. That's kind of funny. I kind of want to use that. What is that face? I don't know. Uh, oh my God. What if I use that? Uh, okay. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, that meme never gets old. This is kind of cool. I mean, it's not from the court, but um, you know what? Let's just literally put in Jordan Young. <laughs> yeah, you sucker. Okay. Man, I'm struggling. All right, this is not working out. Let's. You know what? I'm gonna use this picture. I'm gonna use. God damn it! You're killing me with that shit. Um. Um. I'm gonna use this picture because it's really big and the resolution is really good. And even though his face is like kind of weird in it, um. Whatever, you know. So we're just gonna throw this in the background. So getting it in here, bringing it all the way down to the bottom, and then, yeah, we'll probably, <laughs> that placement's probably not great. Uh, yeah, well, let's just have it like there. Okay, so I'm starting to get sort of an idea of how this layout's gonna be. I think I want his face to be a little bit bigger. Yeah, there we go. And I'm trying to, you know, place these in a way that makes sense so like is this isn't like you know covering like essential parts of his face we just have it sort of on his cheek that'll probably work i'm also going to make this a smart object now so we can mess with it and not um, lose a bunch of resolution um you know because these because these images are not super big to begin with um we're gonna lose resolution anyways but since they are like, me this is meant to look like vintage, you know, it's whatever. It, if it looks a little blurry, it's fine. So let's just start messing with these images and um, seeing what we can do. So I'm gonna go up to brightness and contrast, make sure legacy is clicked, up the contrast, bring down the brightness. We're losing a lot of the image now, so I don't love that. I think the move is just gonna be to um, actually, I'm going to duplicate this and rasterize it because I think I'm going to just use the eraser tool and get rid of all this stuff. That'll help us out quite a bit. So, just for the sake of this tutorial not being super long, I'm not going to get like super precise on this on brushing. Normally, you know, I would be super close. I'd be like zoomed in and like you know, I'd be doing something more like this, where I'm like really getting detailed, but that's going to take too long. So let's just get back to doing this and get it pretty close, you know, out here. I think you guys get the idea. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Mike. Mike Jordan. That's the. That's like my favorite part in the documentary, where he's like, "That's when I went from Mike to Michael." It's like I feel that man. Let's see. Okay, looking good. It's coming together. This little part is annoying me. What is that? Just the tiniest gap. It's got, it's got kind of small ears. Okay, here. Oh, there you go, Mike. Okay. I'm 
All right, we're getting there, baby. All right. That's pretty good, you know? We can definitely work with that. So, uh, yeah, that's fine. All right, so from here, um, I just want to use this part of the image. As you can see, like there's still a whole part of this photo that's unedited. Oops. So I'm just going to grab the uh, rectangle, rectangular marquee tool. I'm going to grab this whole thing like to the edge and then I'm just going to hit command J and that'll basically just pop out whatever we, we want to use. So now I'm going to create a smart object or convert to a smart object rather. And we're going to start throwing some gradients on here so it fades on the uh, bottom and the right side here. So double click the layer that you want to apply the gradient to. Make sure it's this um, gradient uh, with the transparent sort of like boxes in the, in the uh, I'm sitting in the background, like transparent boxes. That's what I meant to say. Okay. All right. So we're just going to switch up the um, angle here. Make sure it's at zero. Bring the scale down so we can just have this like sort of soft fade. That's not bad there. A little more. There we go. Okay. Then I'm just going to click this plus because that's going to allow us to apply multiple gradients. And then I'm going to change the angle to 90. Actually, whoops, minus 90 because we want on the bottom. And then um, just adjust the scale a little bit. Uh, actually, it might have been good. Okay. There we go. All right, so that is pretty good there. Now, I think I'm gonna end up doing this like this is, how it's like blue. Let's just use, we're gonna use the eyedropper tool and grab the blue from this um, bootleg example. And um, first I'm gonna hit Command U and I'm gonna bring the saturation down to negative 100. That basically makes it a grayscale image. And then I'm gonna apply a overlay of this blue color. Uh, and that actually might work. You'd either wanna use multiply or overlay. Um, and I kind of like overlay because it shows a little bit more of the detail. I can see that nice uh, shiny head of his. All right, so let's start working now with this image. What could we do to this? You know what we could do? Bro, we could use the selective color shit. Check this out. So I still have all these bootleg wrap uh, presets in here. So, oh yeah, dude. Let's see what looks good. That's not bad. I kind of like, I kind of want to maintain like the red color. This looks like a little too orange for my taste. I'm just going to go through all these and see which one looks best. I'll have a, uh, I'll throw up a card right now to the video about selective color. And then in the, in the um, uh, description of the video, I'll put a link to the, this uh, selective color pack that I'm using right now. So I actually really like that. So let's use that. Let's mess with the um, levels a little bit. I'm gonna I'm using levels instead of brightness and contrast like we did in the background image, just because I want some of the details to be like preserved. Yeah, this is what we needed. So this is sort of. Let's see. We're gonna see what this looks like after. Um, yeah, okay, so it sort of messed with the selective color a bit. Um, so I don't know if that really is the move. You know what, this is actually pretty good. Let's just leave it like that. I mean, I don't know, what do we think? I'm torn, honestly. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to, I'm gonna rasterize this layer so, it, so we have the levels applied to it. Then I'm gonna to convert to a smart object again. And I'm gonna go back to selective color and I'm gonna see if, yeah, okay, that was the move. So yeah, apparently the, the levels was like overriding the selective color process. Um, so, all right, that's something I think just learned now. So 
All right, so that looks pretty cool. And it definitely has like, it almost looks like screen printed already and like blown out. So that's cool. Let's get into this text, man. Cause the text is always what like puts it over the edge, right? I really like how this is laid out. Um, let's see, we could try a few fonts and I'm just gonna pull this red from our design um, using the eyedropper tool right here. And let's put in death blood. That's definitely not what we want. So let's see what army looks like. I'm gonna bring this text down. And I'm gonna want, I'm looking at this layout and I'm thinking this image needs to be smaller because I want to have the um, text behind his head. So I'm going to bring that layer down. So it's like, yeah, behind his head. It, it um, is going to add some depth and uh, dimension to this design. Shout out to alliteration. Whoa, what the fuck? That was weird. All right. So actually, I'm going to use arc. Bro, what are you doing? This thing is spazzing out. Look at that shit. All right. So I'm going to use arc lower. I'm going to bend it the other way. And that kind of keeps the top like straight. And I might end up switching this text up later, but we're just sort of getting this layout here. Now I'm holding down shift so that I can um, tighten it up a bit. I'm holding shift again here. And basically I'm just trying to get it to a place where I like the general shape of it and then I'm gonna make it bigger. So that's pretty good. Now I'm just dragging it out, um, not holding shift. So I'll basically maintain the shape that we've um, created. And my computer is buzzing, so that's Super dope. All right, so army review. I feel like I use review a lot. Blippo is similar to what they're using in this. Uh, don't really like that. Gaudi, whoops. Uh, Gaudi, what does that look like? Oh, well, that's okay. I don't know. I think actually Gaudi might be cool. Uh, It'll definitely have a super 90s vibe to it. And I think when we add, we're gonna add a gradient on this. I think that'll help too. I just don't like quite how I had the art going. Okay, so that's cool. I think we'll end up moving this. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I just want his head to be over it. So we're gonna shrink this down one more time. One more time. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. So then this, you know what I think we're gonna, I think I'm gonna end up doing another, man, something else. Something has to fill this like space up, you know? Uh. Yeah, all right, we'll worry about that later. So let's just add this gradient to Michael Jordan, or Michael text. So we're going to go to basics and I already have white and red over here in my little like swatch window. We're gonna have the scale at 100. We're gonna do the angle at 90. And that basically gives us a smooth gradient from top to bottom. I'm gonna, uh, I kinda like it with red at the top. What did they do in this? Yeah, that's, wow, that's what they did. I must have sub subconsciously pulled that. Well, whatever, it looks cool. All right, let's do that. And then I'm gonna hit Command J to duplicate this text because we're just gonna use, we're gonna use the same um, font for Jordan 2, or at least we're gonna see how it looks. So then I'm just gonna switch to Arc Upper. And I'm gonna do the same thing, but going other direction. So let's try to match these angles if we can. 
So the angle on this one was minus 21. Let's, whoops, let's do that here too. Minus 21. Okay, and we're gonna actually put this over everything. And then I might have his shoes maybe peeking out, but we'll see what we wanna do. Okay, now I'm just sort of adjusting it a bit. Um, you know, there's a different number of letters in Jordan than there is in Michael. So we can't have it really be the exact same like size. So basically what I'm trying to do now is just get it to a place where it's close because that's just going to make the overall composition like look better. Man, my computer is buzzing again. It's so weird, bro. I'm like not even doing anything. I have like nothing open on Spotify. All right. So yeah, let's actually have this be him kind of stepping on the O here. Okay. And let's adjust this a little bit more. I think we can have it be a little bit bigger. Yeah. And this like glowing on his head it's, well, it looks like a glow, but it's just because I erased it using a soft brush. Now that we have made the choice to have his head like peeking over the letters, I don't want this glow on there. So I'm going to duplicate it so we can keep the um, original in case we end up going back. I'm going to rasterize the layer. So it still keeps all the effects, but now we can um, use the eraser and I'm gonna change the hardness to 100% so I can basically have a hard edge. Actually, let's just use the polygon lasso tool. So I'm just gonna use that and just like, oops, make like the shape of his head, you know? So I'm just sort of following his head. There, I got a little bit off, but I don't think it's gonna matter. just need to do it in this part because that's the part peeking over the letters and I'm just hitting delete so now we have like a hard edge which looks much better okay so let's bump this up I don't want this I don't want it to be super tall but I want it to be like a little taller than your average like t-shirt because I feel like that sort of lends itself to like the bootleg vibe you know okay uh, this gradient at the bottom might need some tweaking so let's look at that yeah I want it to fade a little bit more there we go okay so it's definitely coming together um, the the text is looking very basic right now with just the gradient. So let's also add a stroke of white. You know, just for shits and giggles, let's see if any of these, these um, modern bootleg, that actually might work. That's, bro, that's not bad. I was not planning on that at all. Let's see what it looks like on this other one. This is a bootleg, uh, modern bootleg style pack that I put out for uh, text, and it's like, eh, man, maybe not, I don't know. Um, yeah, I put this out for, for text for like modern style bootleg shirts. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Dude, I like that. Let's just like see if what the outer glow looks like in white. Or like, yeah, like this off pink. Bro, this might be the move. So we're gonna change the yellow in this to this off pink color. Hmm. It's not bad. Let's, all right. Then I'm gonna save that as a new style so we can apply it to Jordan as well. And let's just see how it looks. Libraries don't, I hate the libraries function. I never use it. Uh, it's not bad. What if we did, 
What does it look like with an outer glow of blue? Five hours later. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that yellow, actual, actually. Let's try that for both of them instead. Sorry, guys. Um, welcome to the world of uh, design, I guess. Like, <laughs> just trying stuff out. That's what it's all about, man. Just like experimenting until you get something that you like. Okay. So the other idea I had, this is looking decent for sure. It looks a little ugly, which is like, <laughs> uh, I mean, that's what I want. A lot of 90s uh, bootleg shirts are ugly as fuck. And uh, that's why I love them. Uh, so I'm gonna try some different bootleg or selective color stuff. Let's make sure we have the original clicked off first. I'm gonna try some different ones because now that we have this yellow introduced, it might actually look decent to have um, some yellow in the imagery as well. Yeah, I think that's actually pretty cool. And now what is this blue that's peeking out here? I don't like that. Let's get rid of that. I'm just gonna use the eraser tool to get rid of that. real quick and this other ear is bothering me now too god damn I try to make these tutorials as short as I can just to get the point across but I'm also battling my fucking OCD of seeing little little shit I, I need to tweak okay so man I'm liking where this is going um let's Move this over a little bit, up a little bit, yeah bro. So the other idea I had was um, throwing in a championship ring. So I just searched Chicago Bulls championship ring. We're gonna wanna find one that's kinda like this, like angled. That actually might be it, I mean, it looks a little weird, it looks a little cheap or something. Champ rings USA. I want to find like the old school, like authentic looking one. That says 93 on it, so that's kind of dope. And um, yeah, this is just so you guys know, this is just a tutorial for you guys to learn stuff. Um, you know, don't don't go on Google and God damn, that's why does that happen with every single image? Um, don't go on Google and just like grab any image you want and then like throw it on a shirt and then like sell the shirt and think that that's like okay because it's not okay to do that. Uh, I mean, we are talking about bootleg stuff, so you know it's it's gonna be it's a little bit sketchy just inherently, but um, I'm just telling you from like a legal standpoint, don't don't do that. I, I do not recommend doing that. All right, so we brought in this championship ring. Um, do I need to really quick show how I got rid of that white? Maybe I should do that. All right, so to get rid of this white, all I did was use the magic wand tool. And then up here at the top, um, make sure you have anti-alias and contingent clicked. Um, anti-alias is basically gonna make the edges soft, um, softer than it would you know, with it clicked off. And contiguous is just going to grab um, the white um, of the area you click basically so like if I have it clicked off it grabs white in this image too um, or in the ring and we don't want that so keep it clicked on um, and then just click the white area and then control Control or Command A to grab everything, and then we brought it over with Command B. I'm gonna create a convert to a smart object right away. Boom. That could be something. Uh, does his face need to then go the other way? Yeah. So basically, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have to angle his face the other way if we want to use um, 
this ring in here and we might not even end up using it, but let's just see how this looks. Let me get this head a little smaller. And again, we're just trying to get this collaging right so that everything flows nicely. The ball isn't like over his eye. Um, the ring will sit nicely in this little pocket um, here, like, I think. But I kind of want it bigger, I don't know. Should we angle it differently? Just rotate it? Do we even want this fucking ring in here? I don't know, man. I'm hitting Command U so we can um, make it like, we're just gonna make it a gold color overall. So let's get show all effects so we can see what we're doing. We're gonna do an, try an overlay of this yellow color. Oh, not bad, not bad. Definitely is keeping the bootleg vibe going. Kind of like that. I don't love that it changed then the bowl to yellow as well. What does it look like if we just apply this um, selected color to the whole thing? Yeah, let's just do that, man. I think that's the move. Okay, and bump that over a little bit. Bring this down a little bit. Okay. Now we're cooking. Okay, so I threw a background um, graphic in here. Um, I will link to this this pack of uh, background stuff. Um, in the description below. Um, basically, I just have like 21 different uh, kind of generic like backgrounds um, that you guys can download. They're pretty useful for stuff like this where you just need sort of like something to fill in the background um, that, you know, is just gonna add some uh, depth to the design. So right now it's green, which is pretty fucking ugly with this design. And I know I said, uh, bootleg shirt should be kind of ugly but this is like this is too much so now we are going to change the color of this because we don't want it to be green so I'm hitting command U to bring up the hue and saturation and um, I'm actually going to bring the saturation to negative 100 because I think we're gonna just want to apply um, and shit I should have created create a smart object first um, I'm gonna wanna use colors that are specifically in this design. So, oh shit, I'm also seeing, this is like cut off, that's all right, we'll fix that. So I'm going to double click on it, now that we have it like gray, and I'm gonna do an overlay of, we're gonna try a few things. So red, it's pretty good. We don't want it blue, cause then we'll probably lose Michael. Eh, I mean, yeah, that's weird. Let's do red. I think we might end up just doing like a dark red. Yeah, that, that's cool. I'm good with that. Um, the one thing I don't, <clears throat> don't love is how this is cut off. So what can we do to fix that? Um, what happens if we just use the eraser tool? Is that gonna look weird? Let's find out. Uh, it doesn't look crazy. It doesn't look awesome. Um, let's see if maybe we could blend the blue actually into the jersey so it like looks sort of like he's coming out of blue like fucking Jaws. All right. Bro, this might work actually. Cause yeah, now it just kind of looks like he's blending into that blue. Why is that not erasing? Oh, that's not it. I thought that was his jersey, but that's part of the background. All right, that's cool. Yeah, man, that might work. Sweet. All right, so now I'm just sort of tweaking this, getting it to look how I want with the eraser tool. 
All right. This is coming together for show. All right. So we have basically the main layout done. Um, I'm trying to think if there's something we could do. Um, let's fix this head up here too, because we move this around a little bit. So let's uh, let's fix Mike's head. Uh, there we go. See, it's like fuzzy over here. We want that. So I'm just using the polygonal lasso tool again. Do that. Boom. Oh no, we lost him. There he is. Okay. So. Yeah, this is looking cool. I'm thinking maybe something should go in this space, like uh, some text or something. I don't want, you know, it has to be a certain kind of object. I feel like it can't be just something like floating there, like another ring or something that's gonna look weird. The bull's logo? I mean, it's right there already, shit, no. Let's just see what this looks like with like some texture over the top. I don't Let's add like a glow to this ring. Outer glow. Of like this pink color maybe. Nah, I don't think we need it. Okay, should we add a glow on Michael? Yeah, man, I think that's pretty good, honestly. Like there are some small tweaks I would maybe make but um, in an effort to keep this tutorial somewhat short, um, I feel pretty good about this. So that is it for today. Hopefully you guys found this tutorial useful. Um, you know, there's endless possibilities when it comes to this stuff. You could change up the colors, change up, um, you know, the different elements in there. You could make things bigger, make things smaller. Um, the purpose of this channel is just to give you guys sort of a sense of what's possible inside Photoshop so that you can do your own thing and make awesome graphics yourself. So that is it for today. Be sure to subscribe, be sure to um, like this video, comment um, on stuff you'd like to see in the future. If you have any questions, um, you can always hit me up on Instagram as well, at fuller.moe. Um, I do my best to get back to you guys and uh, answer any questions that you have. So yeah, that's it for today. Peace.